I'm Pastor Mark Buto, and this is another Higher Things video short for Apologetics Wednesday. Last week we were talking about the first five of ten reasons we know that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Of course, as Christians, we believe this because the Holy Spirit has, has brought us to faith through the Holy Scriptures that teach us from the apostles and evangelists that Christ, who was crucified, is risen from the dead. These ten ways that we know that tomb was empty and that Christ was risen are, are ways even beyond the Scriptures to think about and to show why the resurrection is reasonable. <clears throat> so on we go with that with that list. Number six, even the antagonists and enemies of the church became Christians. Many of them did. For example, think of Saul of Tarsus, who was one of the fiercest haters of Christianity, the fiercest persecutors. He wanted all the Christians dead for they violated the law of Moses and everything else. And then he himself became one. Only possible because the risen Lord appeared to him. How do you explain that one who is such an enemy could become such a faithful preacher of the gospel, unless that tomb was empty and Christ was actually risen. Seven, reason number seven, the Christian faith is centered upon this event of the resurrection. Now, just because there are Christians in the world doesn't mean necessarily that Jesus rose from the dead, but what it does point out is that there are a whole bunch of people who were Christians around that time who believed beyond a shadow of a doubt that Jesus was raised from the dead. So the very existence of the Christian church is a testimony to a whole group of people that believe and knew that Jesus was risen from the dead. Reason number eight, the Christian faith, the Christian church, was founded in Jerusalem, the place where they said Jesus rose from the dead. Now, if they had stolen the body or if there was some other way to prove that that tomb was not empty, that there was a body in it or there was a body somewhere, it would have been done. They were all within walking distance of being able to prove that the story the Christians were preaching was not true at all. Number nine, here is a big one. Faithful Jews who didn't want to violate God's law, the law which said you go to church, you worship on the Sabbath, on Saturday, began worshiping on Sunday, the day that Jesus rose from the dead. Now, how do you get people who are so entrenched in doing something one way to change it to a completely different day? The only way that they could violate, as it were, that, that law of Moses and change the day of worship was because something really big had happened, namely that that tomb was empty and Jesus was risen from the dead. And finally, number 10. The 10th way that we can know that the resurrection is reasonable is that no other explanation makes any sense. We've heard about the stolen body theory, but if the disciples stole the body and started preaching Jesus' resurrection, it seems pretty tough to believe that they would go to gruesome and horrible deaths just to perpetuate that lie. But more than that, other explanations have been thrown out. Perhaps all the people that saw Jesus raised from the dead were hallucinating. Yeah, 500 plus people all having the exact same hallucination that the guy with holes in his hands and his side and his feet was alive? Don't think so. Some people have said, well, maybe the women were so upset that they didn't know uh, which tomb he was in and they, they sort of got it wrong. But they were there when Jesus was buried. They knew exactly which tomb it was in. And one of my favorites is the swoon theory. This, this theory teaches that Jesus was probably not really dead. He was just so beat up and injured that, uh, that he was almost, in a, in almost comatose or you know, passed out. But in the cool dark of the tomb, he was able to recover. The problem with that is he was crucified as if Romans don't know how to kill people. They, they took the Persian art of crucifixion and they made it masterful art form. The Romans knew how to kill people. The fact of the matter is, there hasn't been an explanation put forth that makes any sense or that can't be tossed down with a little bit of logic and common sense. The only explanation for that empty tomb on Easter is the one that the eyewitnesses give us, that Jesus was not there because he was risen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Again, for more detail on these 10 ways that we know the resurrection is reasonable and historical fact, check out the article in the spring edition of the Higher Things magazine. You can find the link right here. And remember, when someone comes along and says, Jesus didn't really rise from the dead, that's just ignorant, foolish talk. You say no. And here's 10 reasons why.
I'm Pastor Mark Buteau, and this has been another Higher Things video short.